Hi, everyone. He's Eddie Olchek. Ray Ferraro will be coming along in just a moment. And I'm Mike Emmerich. And here we are again. It's back-to-back -back games, and so there hasn't been much time to rest. As a coach, how do you manage it? Well, it's very important that you use all four lines. You use your complement of six defensemen. I think it's also up to the players as well, Doc, to have short shifts. You can't get caught out there for a minute and a half or two minutes. you got to make sure you have discipline in your game, but that'll be a real key in the outcome of this game. L.A. is a veteran club. They have been in these situations before many a times. There are no excuses. Everybody's got back-to-backs on their schedule. These second games and back-to-backs are difficult, but you got to gut it out and find a way to win this game. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. Coaching staff remains confident in this guy. He won the last game. Johnson's in the crease to start the game. He's worked on his positioning and practice. Now it's time to get a win for the visitors. And they are ready for the opening face off, and so are we. The Kings get the first play of the game. The Whalers won their last game, and they have designs on putting a string of them together with another W tonight. Looks to make a play from behind. Routine save. A wonderful save at the goal crease. These saves are all about positioning. On to Toffoli. Let's it go. Turned away with the stick. They score! A first one of the game, and it's early. Sometimes when you score first, you take the edge off your own team. That can't happen. You're up one. Go make it two. We knew the scoreless tie would be broken. Who thought this early and by the visitor? Boy, the visitor's got to gain a lot of confidence getting this early lead. L.A.'s come up big on another faceoff. Takes that pass from the other point man. Shot. Great save at the edge of the crease. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Play stopped. It's Ray Ferraro time. The Whalers have been pleased with the start to their season. Most expected them to get out of the gate well. This has been almost a perfect start for them. Thanks very much, Ray. The Kings get the draw. Karam pass to Kempe. Now they had an attack going, but it wouldn't work because of the pass that's back out over the blue line. Skill play by Delzato. Pitching this one to Kempe. Gathered up again by Brown. Tries to get it on net. Say! Seattle's in their own end, moving the puck. And on top of that, another great stop. You're not going to beat a goaltender of this caliber with that shot. That's a pretty easy blocker stop. Critical win of the draw. Takes that pass. It's one of those restraining fouls. It's a hooking penalty. And the arm of the referee is up. The Whalers are given a hooking minor. This was okay about 10 years ago. Not anymore. That's a hooking call. L.A.'s power play is activated for the first time tonight. Well, the power play's excited to get out there. Those guys just about scrambled onto the ice as they get their initial chance of this game. Say. And this one is feathered back away by Hammonick. And now it's directed to Tofoli. Snapping a pass to Doughty. Couldn't make it through. Can't retain possession. To Nash. Gets in and he'll look over his options. And a save. Shoots. What a save. Equal to the challenge. Nice stop. And he steps across the line. 
and downed it to Foley. A kick pass out of that. Did not get anything up. It's cleared, and now some fresh legs can get on the ice. The Kings get the puck with just a few seconds left on their power play. Outstanding pass. He's got it right off that right wing. Oh, and the puck winds up back at center ice. Man. The Whalers are back even. Gotten quickly back. Intercepted that one at an important place. What a heavy hit. Kopitar's play is so energetic early. He wants to get a hit in so his team knows that they're all ready to go. The Kings skate it up on the side. And he dumps it in. Hard work here. Scooped up by Brody. Smart recovery by Hickey. Pitching it to Aho. On the outside, a shot. Got his pad on that one. And he holds on and stops. Murray is now available for additional spots. Over nine minutes have been played here in the first. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's one nothing. Solid clean win. Look out, the hits are coming. Good thing he's wearing the helmet, and that could have been very dangerous. The Whalers slug that along in their own end. Takes it up that side. Puck grab, they're ready to go. The battling continues along the boards. Slid to Brown. Propelled to Ayafalo. He cut that one off in the defensive end. Moving it to Silverberg. A shot. Wonderful save. What skill by both goalie and shooter. That was a good challenge. Better stop. Brown's shoulder is right through the opposing player. That is a great Go to Pearson. Good keep at the line. More attack coming. Pass attempt to Silverberg. Things are heating up with that hit. Shoots. Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. Oh, he'll take shots like that all night. Keep feeding him those muffins. He's going to stop every one of them. That faceoff is won. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. Oh, did he take a big hit there? His helmet's bouncing across the ice. Good intercept in his own end. Let's it rip. A textbook stick save. Chip to Pearson. Turned on net. Oh, a great reaction there as that one was tipped on goal. A delayed penalty call. Passing one off now to Aiken. Carried right through the middle of the neutral zone. The Kings get their goalie to the bench for the extra man. The Whalers are assessed a minor penalty here for holding. Anytime you take your free hand and reach in, it's going to be a two-minute penalty for holding. The Kings' power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. After an ineffective power play earlier in the game, Let's see if they can get a little more organized, get the puck into the zone and get it on net far more frequently. Way back in his own end, it's taken by Doughty. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Laid on to Fanuff. Great save. 
points it. Shot. Terrific point blank save. He's locked in now. Great save. Looking to Fanuff. LA's in their own end, hoping to make a play to center. Puck is thrown to Kopitar. A shot. Score! The power play cashes in. He knew exactly where to go on this power play, and he gets rewarded with the goal. He didn't leave very much room. He's in the butterfly. He's got most of the net shelled off, but he doesn't cover it all, and it ends up behind him. Puck dropped, and the winger stepped in to help. That's big. Stole that pass at a critical end of the ice. He cleared that puck out of there. And the play is stopped on an icing call. Gordon's been dry for so long, he's out of things that he can change. He's changed the tape on his stick from white to black, and then black to white. He changes the way he drives to the rink. After a while, it gets into your head so deeply, you forget to move your feet. And if I was in a slump, my coach has always told me, move your feet and the points will follow. The Kings skated up on the side. Two goals so far, Doc. He's out there vying for the third one to give him the hat trick. Score! Three straight goals. That's a big goal there for them to score. They could go into the locker room feeling pretty good about themselves. And that's a face-off win. Directing that one to Ayafalo. On to Daly. And by number 44, Michael Delzano. Time of the goal, 19 minutes, 41 seconds. A terrific first period for one squad, but not for the other. So at least one coach has his hands full. It's time to support those around us with our monthly food drop. Bring three non-perishable food items, and you can receive a free team poster. Miller's had days when he's been spectacular, but this is not one of those. An example there as intermission begins. We have 20 minutes down. We have lots of time still to go. What are your thoughts so far, Edson? Los Angeles coaching staff, Doc, has to be pleased with their possession numbers. But the question has to be, will they sit back now and protect their lead, or will they continue to push ahead and build on it? The second period is underway. Let's see if the gap can be closed. Great poke check there. Long lead pass to Daly. He missed the net. Hit the net. The puck is in the middle of the ice. You've got to get it on the goal. He hangs on and gets the whistle. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie said no chance. That's an excellent save.
A good tie-up on the face-off. That led to his team getting the puck. Score! Kopitar! is able to get himself in position to one-time that puck to the back of the net. Halak's reflexes usually are able to catch up to something like this, but Eddie, that's a perfect shot, really accurate, just off the inside of the post. The Kings have scored yet again, and their lead gets bigger. They are doing very well on the shot board, too. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Scored by number 11. Feeds the point. Number 73, Tyler Gathered up by Daly. Takes that pass up the boards. To Hoffman. That is up close and personal. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Say. A little under three minutes have gone by. With that goal, the lead becomes more impressive. It's up to four. The puck's dropped, and that's a great job tying the man up on that faceoff. That puck was obstructed by a screen. A one-timer shoots. That was a great play and goal. That is a great display of goaltending there, Doc. He was standing in the lane and caught some of it. Pitching this one to point. Shoots one. Well done with that pass. Puck heads to the neutral zone. The attackers, of course, follow. Los Angeles has been by far the better team tonight. Whether it's been their preparedness, whether it's been their luck, whether it's been their effort, they have come out on top all night. Got it right back. Whistle is blown. Now the penalty will be handed out. Los Angeles has received a minor penalty. Two minutes, and the call is slashing. He's making like Paul Bunyan out there. That's a two-minute slash. Seattle's special teams will have their first chance of the game. Los Angeles penalty to number nine. Off that faceoff from the tie-up, the help came. Good work in clearing it out. The Whalers with possession in the defensive zone. Leads that charge into the zone. Many yards gained to Brody. Oh, he saw the window open, but he didn't even touch the curtain. I know that shot had a lot of heat on it, but if you put a soccer net there, it wouldn't have hit it. That shot came from just six inches. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. Slid to Hughes. Shoots. Directed to the net. And he puts the glove on it and stops the glove. Well, you know he's happy, guys. He's sitting there on the bench. He's got a couple of goals in his back pocket already. But you know he's thinking about number three. What an achievement that would be to bang in one more. L.A.'s got a defensive zone win. Good job in clearing it out of his own end. Gains that offensive line. Important interception there. Puck cleared out. Power play unit goes back. That's called a pin. Does he get three points? Los Angeles has taken care of that penalty, so we're back even. Now it's directed to Hughes. Snapping a pass to Ayafalo. Back on his stick. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. Takes that pass from the other point. Great stick there. Fantastic poke check. Held to the glass. Kicked out of the scrum. That's a goaltender's best friend. A defenseman that can use a stick like that. Driving in from no man's land. And he picks it up. Seattle's in the neutral zone along the wing. He's got that pass at the point. Propelled to Brody. Fires a shot. Wonderful stop. 
kicked away. Really solid possession and pressure. Not done yet, though. Skates out with it. And he gets it back. And holds on to that puck to get the whistle. Pretty easy stop. Once he's in the butterfly, he can slide side to side and control the rebound. A little under eight minutes left to go in the period. The Kings are just hammering away on that scoreboard. A four-goal lead. Good face-off victory there. That one's to him from his goaltender. Shoots one. Missed! Oh, that puck slowed up and just missed the side of the net. Los Angeles charges up from the wing. Through the corner now. Intercepts that pass. Maybe he can generate something. Really good cut of the pass. Chip to Williams. Outstanding save. Johnson's positioning is perfect here. He can make that glove stop all day long. And that's a good job by the winger. In with it now. He regathered it. Now frustrating on that pass. It came back over the blue line and the coach noticed. Pitching it to Faust. Los Angeles transports it in center ice. Puck loose denied by the defense. Gives it over to the point. Terrific glove save. Face off and a solid tie up and help arrive. Good job. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Got that pass off the boards. Great glove hand. That's the end. Good work by Cassie. It is hard work here to get the puck free. Strong defensive play. Shot misses the net. Great offensive job here. Means nothing if they don't score them. Terrific determination by Hickey. A heartening collision. You thought they were gone. They're not. That's why coaches tell you at every level, you've got to have your head up. Moving it to Nash. Trying to go to Cassian. Carries it on in from center. Laid on the carrot. He gets it back. A long scorcher. Makes the stop and holds for the whistle. Oh, I love that hit. He got into position, shoulder focused, right on the body. A perfectly clean hit. Two periods have been played. And so, as we think back through the first two, we think ahead toward the third. Hey, fans, don't forget to pick up your team calendars. They're available in section 144 at the team field. Halak's performance so far, not one he's proud of, as we head to break.
we are entering the third period. Based on the first two, what are you expecting to happen? Seattle's got a real tough task ahead of them as we get ready for the third period. They know they're facing a hot goaltender. They know they've created a lot of chances. They need a bounce. They need to get a greasy goal. In order to do that, you've got to put yourself right in front of the goaltender. Good work along the boards. Pass attempt to Kopitar. Can start the attack going in the zone. In the slot. Quick wrist shot. Those big pillows on his legs came in handy then. Flings it. Outstanding save. Just got his glove on it. LA's lugging it around in the neutral zone. Outstanding body contact. Hamannick's really playing outside his comfort zone. He's not known to be a physical player, but he's trying to change the momentum of this game. Outstanding offense met by solid goaltending. Good place to shoot from, and he does. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Gathered up again by Hamannick. Gets in, looks over his options here. Got that pass in his own end. The Kings have it along the side at mid ice. And he is closed off emphatically. Probably some frustration taken out on that hit, Doc. Solid, solid hit into the board. You can hear the sound. The Kings organizing back in their own end. On to Ayafalo. Makes that play deep. Slid to Doughty. Gives it to the point. Side to side they go, trying to generate something. Cross slashed, and the arm of the referee is up. A penalty will be coming. Williams gets a slashing minor here. Oh, look at the reaction of the puck carrier. He is in some pain. That's a slash. The Kings go on the power play again. They have connected once already. I like their setup on the power play that scored earlier, Doc. Let's see if they can get it set up again. Move the penalty killers around for a couple of good chances. The Whalers are skating it up at neutralize. Oh, broke it up. Smart recovery by Del Sato. The Kings with a neutral zone possession along the way. Defensive gem with the stick. To Del Zotto. Los Angeles from the wing plays it along. Somebody got in early, and so it's an offside. Over eight minutes played. All of the scoring has come from one side. Four of them. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. And at an angle to Doughty. That one is pointed to him. To Foley, slashed on the play, and there will be a penalty. Gets it with the blocker. The Whalers have taken a slashing minor here. Oh, that's a blatant slash, Doc. Any time that you slide your bottom hand up your stick and swing your stick, you're going to the box. The Kings get a two-man advantage. It's not a long one, but it might be enough. This five-on-three power play has to be careful that they don't get lulled into a sense of security here. And they move the puck around the outside and never challenge the penalty killers. It's dumped in. Power play meter is running right now. The puck taken by Doughty. The Kings continue to probe up the wing. No way he's getting by there. Gains the zone. And down to Marner. Los Angeles is skating in their own zone. Perfect wrister. Got in the way of that one. Kicked out of that cluster. Solid work there by Brody. To Williams. And he dumps it in. 
Kopitar has been like a one-man gang today. He's been all over the ice, and his number is all over the score sheet, too. Let's it go. Oh, what a save. Seattle's penalty kill well tested, especially that time. Seattle's looking to head man up the wing. Let's it go. Score! That's his first goal this year. He's now got that first goal of the season, Doc. Let's see if this leads to a few more for him. Hickey's wrist shot was heavy and quick. A lot of goalies don't catch the puck anymore. They just block it with their upper shoulder. He tries to catch this one and misses it. Seattle's gotten one. They still trail by a whopping score. There's not a lot of time left in the game, but maybe they can fine-tune a few things for next time. They've got the draw. Scored by number five, Thomas Hickey, assisted by number 20. Muscled long to Williams. You can almost count that one, but no, what a save. Los Angeles carrying it up the wing. Fires! They can't find the target. We sometimes forget the speeds these guys are playing at, but accuracy is a key in creating chances. Shoots! He got a piece of that one. That was a tougher stop than it looked. Passing one off now to Cassian. That puck out of play over the glass. The cast of characters keeps changing on this long homestand, and the fans hope that a bunch of W's can be strung together before it comes to a close. Just over six minutes left to go here in the third. So at least they've gotten this one. To get this game back even, they need three more. I have a great grasp of the obvious. Los Angeles with possession in the defensive zone. Puck comes out of the zone back to center ice, and so things will settle a bit. Perfect pass! A one-timer! He got iron with that one! And the referee's whistle has stopped play. Nice face-off work. Somehow, this one's going to come free. Guided to Ajo. Looking to Ajo. Puck is thrown to Hoffman. Steps across that line. To the point it comes. An open ice collision. I love that hit. That's old-time hockey. Puck grabbed. What's next? Propelled to Hoffman. Hammers one. Close call there. Oh, bad giveaway there. They finally touch, and now the penalty. Los Angeles gets a two-minute penalty for slashing. Back in the era of wood sticks, this would really hurt. That's a slash. The Whalers' power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. There's not much new to a power play. It works the same way all the time. You get a good zone entry, you get the puck to the point, you shoot it, you move the penalty killers around. Let's see if they can do it this time. Johnson's been the one key reason that his team's been able to hold on to this lead. He's fit. Score! Just like the coach drew it up. of his release. It gives him the advantage on this play and the puck gets past the goaltender in a hurry. Johnson's presenting himself pretty largely here. However, there's still room for the puck to beat him. The Whalers have gotten this game back to a two-goal deficit for them. There's still time here in the third. Let's see what happens next. 
and they've won the faceoff. Directing that one to Kempe. Hoffman slashed. Ooh, that's going to be a penalty. The Kings are getting a minor here, and the call is slashing. 17 minutes, 29 seconds. He's making like Paul Bunyan out there. That's a two-minute slash. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. A critical win in the draw there. Not enough to get it out. Slid back across from one point to the other. A howitzer! No luck! He had enough room there to get that in the short side. However, he misses the net. It doesn't matter how fast it is. If you don't get it in the 4x6, it's not going to go in. Hey, Ray, what's going on down there? Seattle's going to rue these missed chances. They've had so many from good spots on the ice. They've missed the net so many times. They've done nothing but hurt themselves. No, thanks, Ray. I agree. I, I just uh, It's amazing how close they have come and then just not gotten on the board. You wonder if that luck's going to continue. A critical faceoff, and they won it. Now what? Enormous collision. That was a major league collision. Shot it back out of his own end. Power play time running. It's collected by Hammonick. They must retreat and start back again. In the third period. Seattle's winging it at neutral ice. Goalie pulled, net empty. Extra man is out. Sent back again. Make him chase it. Good work by Los Angeles. Using the point. Puck leaves the zone, and so play goes back to mid-ice. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? Net empty, and he missed it. Pitching this one to Brody. And now it's directed to Marner. Using the point. He's got it. Twist one. Hangs on to that one for a stoppage in play. I don't usually pay much attention to the antics of the mascot guys, but this guy's pretty good here. He's watching the action. He's following and getting the fans engaged as much as he can. And he's getting them pumped up, too. Pretty good stuff. A lot of pressure on that draw, and they won it. It's cleared back, and this forces a recoil. The Whalers are looking to make a play out of their own zone. Crosses that line. Seattle's power play could have made a big difference, but did not. Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. The game is over. Los Angeles has emerged victorious. Something new lately. The long losing streak has come to a close. So the teams have left the ice and are getting rested for next time. For this time, for Eddie and Ray, Mike Emmerich saying good night.